Hey everyone, Link here. This is a brand new Let's Play series for Project Zomboid build 41.64, the multiplayer update that contains the new area Louisville. The only mod that we're going to be using is a Louisville spawn points mod that allows us to spawn in Louisville. The world settings are mostly going to be Apocalypse. The only things I'm going to change are the infection mortality to instant to remove that anxiety. The helicopter is set to sometimes to make the intermediate game a little bit more interesting. And the respawn hours are set to zero. Here are my character traits. I took uh, overweight, smoker, and weak stomach for the negatives. I took fast learner, lucky, inconspicuous, wakeful, fast reader, dexterous, and speed demon as my positive traits. And of course, here's my cool looking character. All right. Looks like we spawned in the middle of town. And the TV's going off downstairs, so we're going to rush down to the TV and hopefully get into life and living to take advantage of those extra skills. Should I say the extra skill points? Do them there. There we go. All right. I always get nervous when I see the text not change to the next TV. Oh. Fast forward that. All right. Next, I'm going to go see if we can find a weapon. Ooh, car outside, too. Might be able to find a set of keys. Didn't see any decent starting weapons here. I mean, we can use the saucepan. We can use that as a temporary weapon until we find something a little bit more useful. Or wear the hoodie. See what else we can find down here. Rip sheets. Yeah, that's good. Always good to have a set of those. Over. I'm not gonna take it. Alright, I pretty much looted this house and I haven't been able to find anything. I'm going to go ahead and start going to the next few houses around here. Probably going to encounter a couple of zombies once we get out. Nope. Or not. We're going to get pretty lucky. Okay, yeah, there's some zombies in here. Go ahead and open up this window. As for me, I've been playing Project Zomboy for a couple of years. I actually bought the game in 2013. But uh, I played the game for like 15 minutes and decided that I didn't enjoy it, put it down, and then uh, completely forgot about it. And then I'd seen all these people playing projects on board and was like, man, this looks like fun. And uh, the game has changed quite a bit from what it used to be. Nothing on her. Frying pan, lots of food. Here, salami. RPG for beginners. Dance carpentry, that's for levels five and six. Painkillers, bandages. Other jacket, I'll go ahead and wear that. And of course, there's a hiking bag in here, which is pretty freaking awesome. 
moving more of that. Come on back. Wait, am I wearing the jacket over the hoodie? Hang on. I didn't realize I could do that. Pretty cool. I forgot to check if this... Okay, she does have a watch. Let's go ahead and just throw that watch on. So don't miss any more... Uh, or any TV shows, rather. So goals for the series. What I like to do. Well, last as long as possible. It's probably going to be the number one goal. Um, I think another good goal would be just to stay in Louisville. To take advantage of the update. And, uh... Uh... It's a new area for me to try to survive in. So that'll bring a lot of uh, new challenges, I'm sure. From what I've seen, though, it's mostly an urban environment. Not a whole lot of open space. Which is uh, a little bit different from the other towns. It seems like the other towns have plenty of space for you to run around in. Lots of trees and stuff. This one, the, the houses are right on top of each other. You can't zoom into the next house and turn the TV on. Oh, hello, zombie. Nice. Seems like there's a party going on over here. Hello. Hey, you up. Guys. I'm sure that pan doesn't have much durability left on it. Come on. Oh my gosh. A lot of whiff in there. There you go, those baby blockers. Ooh, just in time for life and living. Oh no, there's no TV in here. Crap. Oh man. More frames, here we come. Well, we'll be able to make up that skill. Oh yeah, I forgot to check the car. Go ahead and see if there's a, some keys in there. Locked. Yeah, please, zombie. Maybe he's got a vest on him. What you got, what you got? Yeah, vest. Good. It's down over here. Uh, that must be like the. I think it's a school. I'm not sure. Community center, okay. Go ahead and leave these two over here. 
mean, so far, it looks like a lot of the zombies here in town are pretty spaced out. Fine with me. I always get anxious opening up those windows because you never know when an alarm is going to go off. It's like someone's back here in the closet. Alright, either outside or upstairs. Upstairs, okay. I'm just kind of breezing over a lot of this food just because it seems like there's a lot of food. And then we can just come and get it whenever we're ready. I know a lot of the fresh food will go bad, but um, all the canned food will still be there whenever we need it. Go upstairs and take care of this guy. Must be in here. Yep. Hammer, duct tape. It's always good. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was way close. It could have been, could have been a really short series right there. Why not just eat a whole radish? Seems delicious. Is that, is that his spoon just laying on the ground? Uh, it must be like inside the building. Okay. Let's see if we can deal with one of these guys at a time. Okay. I'll take two. It's fine. If no one else is around us. Oh man, I forgot to check the durability. Saucepan. Right, should be fine. <laughs> Much for being fine. Alright. Meantime, we can use the hammer. Don't want to use the hammer the whole time just because I want to have that hammer available uh, as a tool. But, hammer's a pretty good weapon. Wow, this place looks really nice. Indoor pool. I wonder, can you collect the water from the, the pool? You must be able to. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. You could probably, like, hole up in here. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll go ahead and clean out the community center and make the community center our base. Try to last as long as possible. Maybe there's a, uh, I don't know if there's a roof access. I mean, the roof access would be pretty OP because then you just bring dirt up there and make a farm. Yeah, that would be awesome. Some zombies there at the door. I don't want to grab their attention if I can help it. I kind of just want to look around. Oh boy. Yeah, Speed. Zombies. 
me in there. Playroom down there. All right, let's go to the second floor. Huh, there's like desks and stuff in here. Couple of fridges just chilling. Sure, if I really want to fight these guys, I guess I'll have to anyway. If I want to take this over, oh. Enforcements have arrived. Uh, not the best situation. Go ahead and just zoom past these guys. Box myself in a corner like that. Nope. Alright, see if I can get them to come through this window. That works. No, 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 no. Just do a loop here. Oh, so much for that. Yeah, I should have known a bit off a little bit more than I could chew a bit. Important part is that, you know, you recognize that kind of stuff and you just disengage. Alright. Well, we'll go back to the houses over here and see if we can find another weapon. But I'm pretty stuck on using that community center as a next base. I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Appreciate you guys watching if you made it this far. Um, if you like the video, make sure you do all the good stuff at the bottom. And I'll see you in the next one.